56% of the fatalities that happen for women who are experiencing intimate partner violence, it's coming at the hand of a gun. In just the first six months of 2022, 39 people died as a result of intimate partner violence in Washington state. Women are five times more likely to be murdered by an abuser if a gun is present. Um, so guns raise the lethality of domestic violence significantly. With the assault weapons ban now heading to Governor Inslee's desk for his signature, many groups like the Domestic Violence Response Team at the YWCA in Spokane are hopeful that this will lead to less domestic violence incidents. Guns in the hands of an abuser in a domestic violence situation is a very high risk situation. And it's not just a family problem. It, that risk is for everybody. The team includes law enforcement, like Detective Josh Liva with the Spokane Police Department. He's one of many people charged with ensuring that anyone found guilty of domestic violence no longer has access to a gun. It's usually one of the things that's going to happen at that first appearance is they will put what's called a domestic violence no contact order in place. Part of that order usually includes a surrender of firearms. If a person in Washington state has a domestic violence protective order issued against them, by law they must surrender all of their guns to the police for them to hold until that protective order expires. I think one of the reasons the importance of these firearms surrender laws is because those two weeks after a domestic violence survivor attempts to leave their abuser is the highest risk weeks of their life, which is why we found that the removing of firearms at the time of a protection order or at the time of a criminal charge of domestic violence happens, we are trying to reduce that lethality risk of a victim. In 2021, 531 guns were surrendered. In 2022, that number increased to 813. This year alone, nearly 200 guns have already been surrendered. While advocates are happy about the progress they're making in the legislature, there is still more work to do.